Greetings, fellow travelers. Oblix here, and today I want to take just a second to look at our Watch Gang wheel watch that I just received. So yeah, I got bit by the wheel bug again. They ran another special where we got the original pricing before they raised the pricing, and I was there was a watch on there I've, from the original tier, which is a tier down from the black tier, which I normally get, um, that came out quite some time back, and I've always kind of liked the styling of it, and it was very well received in the watch game community. So I wanted to check it out, and uh, they threw it on the wheel at a, at a reasonable price, and I said, oh, you know what, let's let's give it a try. Maybe we get something better. Maybe we get that piece. Either way, we're, we're a winner, right? Assuming we like the piece. So let's go ahead and get this guy open. I do have a new knife that I just picked up uh, that's going to be our watch unboxing knife for a little while anyway. Um, I've got the Vostok Europe knife. And for those that don't know, Vostok Europe is a watch brand. And yeah, it's a cheap Chinese watch with, uh, you know, a little bit tacky, but, you know, it's still fun. And this is put out by R2A Watches, which is the uh, U.S. retailer for Vostok Europe, along with Stramansky and several other, uh, you know, Aviator's a good one, uh, brands that I like. So, what with their, got their little piece, uh, and got it for free, uh, is part of a, they do like a, you buy, you know, R2A does a, you buy, you know, X number of stuff and you get what they call chrono bucks, and you can use the chrono bucks to go buy stuff, and that's, that's how I got it, so, you know, it didn't cost me anything. Uh, but let's go ahead and take a look at this guy and it is an Elevon so if we pop the top again this is an originally an original tier so you know it's not going to be super high end it, it's more in the affordable range of watches so you know we're going to set our expectations accordingly so we got a plastic uh, warranty card we got a plastic certificate of authenticity that's not been filled out. And we got our Elevon Hughes. Nice. So let's take this out and take a closer look at this bad boy. We do have solid links. We got a butterfly clasp. Nice. Milled. Looking good. We've got do have folded in links here, so again we're going to keep price in, in mind, right? Uh, we got some plastic here. We need to take off, pop that off, and I saw some on the back back here too. We're going to pop off. There we go. As the name would imply, they are aviation inspired. You can see that in their logo here on the crown as well as on the dial, and it's a fairly large piece. Date window at the three o'clock. Uh, you know, we've got the 12 hour markers on the inner ring of, of painted on Arabics. We've got the 60 minute painted on markers on the outer ring. And then we have at the hours applied indices. So this is one's on the gray dial. Uh, it does come in several different colors. There was a blue. I can't remember what all colors there were, but I was kind of tossing up between the blue and the gray. I really wanted the blue originally, but then I saw the gray and I'm like, you know what? That's not half bad, and it goes with a lot more stuff. You know, that you can wear it with a lot more things. So definitely aviation inspired piece, specifically by the size, and it is a quartz piece. We should pop this. Uh, Spacer off so we can get this second hand ticking. There we go. Got a nice long second hand with a painted end. And it's almost a. I mean, they're kind of chrome, but it's almost a gunmetal chrome. Pretty good looking. Uh, fit and finish isn't quite great. You can see right there. Let me get you guys zoomed in. We can take a better look. There we go. Got you zoomed in now. You can see here the fit and finish, not great, but remember we're keeping price 
in mind. And we're looking at about, uh, I think they're selling it for about 60 bucks now, but on the original tier you could get it for 30 bucks back when it came out. So, you know, so for 30 bucks, this is a pretty realistic piece. You know, solid links, butterfly clasp. Not terrible. And a pretty good looking piece, I gotta say. So you got some polish here on the sides. You got brush all the way around on the face, and you've got you know the polish applied into C's and hands. Again, branded crown. Looking good. Polished sides again. Uh, you got a decorated bracelet with these uh, kind of indents on that that outside piece, both sides. Um, these are solid, so you know it's a single link. You know these aren't split, um, so it's milled out of a single piece. No branding on the butterfly. Uh, take a little closer look at the back here. Pretty simple. Uh, stainless steel, J Japanese quartz, and 5 ATM water resistant is what you got written on the back back there. I know it's a little hard to see. Alright, so let's check it out on wrist. Now, quick wrist check. I am wearing the E1 Bradley. And a very unique piece. You tell time with these marbles here. And you can see, or these bearings, you can see that they are free float in these chambers. Uh, but there is a magnet there that's holding it in place. Now, here's the one for the minute hand. And here's the one for the hour hand. You can see it rides in this track on the outside of the watch all the way around. And then the minute hand rides around in this track on the inside of the watch. And the, the hour is free float as well. You can see it down here just kind of loose. Now if I roll my hand around, it'll eventually get stuck back where the magnet is. You can see right there. And you can tell time by just feeling on the watch where the marbles are. You don't even have to see it. Very cool. A very interesting little piece. Um, also made out of titanium, so it's stupid light. All right. Let's get the Bradley off. And put the Elevon on. Now it's not sized for my 7 inch wrist, of course. Um, so we're just going to get a feel for what it might look like. We got about 3 quarters of an inch of play down there on my 7 inch wrist. So if you go up to about a 7 and 3 quarter, you'll be fine. Much bigger, and you're not going to have enough links. And as you can see, it is a wrist hog. Uh, it takes it up. It is a big old fat piece on my seven inch wrist. So if you have a six inch wrist or somewhere in that neighborhood, this thing is going to be a juggernaut on you. Um, so you may want to consider that. But you know, guys, seven and bigger, you're going to be okay. Though it is a, a wrist filler, it is going to be quite large, as most aviation pieces are. Yeah, that's the Hughes Elevon or Elevon Hughes. I'm getting my names all twisted around. Uh, Again, Watch Gang Wheel Watch. Uh, they still have these on thewheel.com if you guys are interested. Uh, along with quite a few other Elevons are on there. Uh, after I got this, they added a several more Elevons that are actually kind of nice looking. I uh, may want to consider some more. Uh, but we'll get this guy on wrist. We'll get him sized up on wrist. Get some wear time on him. We'll get a review down the road. But I sure do appreciate you guys coming to hang out with me as we check out the Elevon Hughes. And until next time. You guys, get out there and make some noise. See ya.